Hi, it's Katrina. From enormous battles lost to history to newly discovered sea scrolls missing from the Bible, here are 10 mysterious archaeological discoveries. Number 10. Himera between 2008 and 2011, workers discovered a necropolis dating back to the Archaic and Classical periods, containing over 12,000 ancient burials of humans and horses. The fascinating find was made during the expansion of an existing railway line at the site in the ancient Greek city of Himera. Situated along the border between Hellenic Sicily and an area that the Phoenicians once controlled, the burials are associated with an infamous battle that took place in 480 BC. It was the Greeks versus the Carthaginians. The Greeks won the battle, and to mark the occasion, they erected a structure called the Temple of Victory. Their glory was relatively short-lived, however, because several decades later, in 409 BC, the Carthaginians seized and razed the city. The destruction lives on in the form of the human and equestrian remains left behind at the site, buried in both mass and individual graves. Altogether, there are thought to be nine mass graves, seven from the 480 BC battle and two from the skirmish that occurred in 409 BC, as well as 30 or so horse burials. Despite being known as one of the world's greatest battles, the one that occurred in 480 BC remains somewhat of a mystery to experts. Historical records of the battle are, as John W.I. Lee put it in an article for Archaeology magazine, biased, confusing, and incomplete. That's a good way to describe it. These accounts, written mainly by 5th century BC historian Herodotus and 1st century BC historian Diodorus Siculus, leave a lot of unanswered questions, which scientists have only begun to solve relatively recently through archaeological excavations. While researchers are closer than ever to figuring out the battle's precise location and other obscure details, they have years of work ahead of them. So far, their findings have more or less confirmed what they already believed about the battle. Number 9. The Bom Jesus Wreck While draining a man-made lagoon in the Namibian desert along the country's coast in 2008, geologists from the De Beers Diamond Mining Company came across a 500-year-old shipwreck, known as the Skeleton Coast, the shoreline along the Atlantic Ocean and the eastern borders of Namibia and part of Angola is famous for the appearance of shipwrecks. But this one stood out among others once experts realized that it was laden with $13 million worth of Spanish and Portuguese gold coins. Labeled by archaeologists as one of the most significant shipwrecks ever found, it sat beneath the ocean floor for centuries before it was finally discovered. Besides gold, bits of materials including metal, wood, copper, and bronze also appeared at the site. The team notified archaeologist Dr. Dieter Noli of the Southern Africa Institute of Maritime Archaeological Research of the fascinating finds, and he immediately identified one of the artifacts as 16th century artillery. Thanks to Dr. Noli's keen eye, the ship was quickly identified as the Bom Jesus, or the Good Jesus, a Portuguese vessel dating back to 1533, making it the oldest wreck discovered in the immediate area by over 200 years. The ship disappeared while traveling to India, and until its discovery, its whereabouts were a mystery. Several questions remain unanswered, including what the Bom Jesus was doing near the Skeleton Coast, and what caused it to sink. While Noli believes that a combination of heavy cargo and bad weather are to blame, nobody truly knows for sure. Number 8. Ancient Masked Figurine Archaeologists recently discovered a strange, small, masked clay figurine set upon the shoulder of a deceased woman in a 5,000-year-old mass grave in western Siberia's Novosibirsk region. The burial is filled with the remains of people from the Odinov culture, which dates back to the Bronze Age. Their way of life revolved around hunting, fishing, and animal husbandry, and they primarily kept sheep, cattle, and horses. The Odinov people lived in dugouts in an isolated community surrounded by forest steppe terrain. The little statue, measuring roughly the same size as the palm of someone's hand, had a stripe along its face, representing a tattoo. It was laid on its stomach, and its head was ritualistically broken off and turned upwards, in a manner never before seen in the region. The statuette's head was covered with a helmet made of horse vertebrae, featuring an image of a bear. We've never come across anything like this despite our extensive knowledge of the Odinov culture's burial rites, Professor Vyacheslav Molodin, who headed the expedition, told the Siberian Times. The woman must have been an unusual person to have such a figurine escorting her to the afterlife. 
The deceased female was laid face down on top of a man's body, and the two were bound together in birch bark and set ablaze. Experts are thus far at a loss to explain the figurine. Number 7. Sea Monster Depiction in Shipwreck Thought to be the world's best-preserved late medieval ship, the Gribbs Hunden was discovered in the Baltic Sea near Sweden roughly 500 years after it sank. Researchers were perplexed by a figurehead on the ship resembling an unknown animal that so far is best described as a sea monster. The 15th century image remains open to interpretation, with marine archaeology professor Johan Ronby describing it in an interview with the Express as some kind of fantasy animal, a dragon with lion ears and a crocodile-like mouth. It's unlike anything ever featured on other known wrecks, according to Marcus Sandekier of the Blekinge Museum, who said we don't have ships like this that have been recovered at all. It's something we haven't seen before. It's unique in the world, and I think there will be more excavations around here with more unique objects. The ship dates back to around the same time that Christopher Columbus sailed the seas, meaning it stands to teach researchers quite a bit about how marine vessels of the time were made. But for now, the animal that the figurehead represents remains a mystery, and experts are still thriving to understand more about the shipbuilding methods of the time. Number 6. Young Viking Skeleton Archaeologists working next to Dublin Castle in Ireland recently discovered the mostly intact skeleton of a Viking child, which they believe date back to the 9th or 10th century. The remains are believed to belong to a 10 to 12 year old boy, and experts believe he may have met foul play during his final moments because of what they found. Someone apparently wrapped the boy's body in a shroud and threw him into the river puddle, according to RTE. His shoulders were hunched together and an iron buckle was found nearby, further suggesting that the youth met a disturbing, untimely demise. Beyond that, the apparent lack of evidence of a proper burial indicates that someone harmed the boy and carelessly discarded him into the river in which he was found. All signs point toward the boy's end being violent, but archaeologists have yet to determine exactly how or why. Further tests should shed more light on the matter by definitively revealing the child's ethnicity, gender, and death date. Experts hope that this and other recent discoveries will help them better understand the lives of Vikings in Ireland. We pretty much can guess it wasn't a very peaceful and relaxing time back then, but when has it ever been? Number 5. Mysterious Mummies Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities recently announced the discovery of 13 unopened coffins thought to date back roughly 2,500 years. The caskets were found piled on top of one another, sealed in a well, nearly 40 feet deep. They were so pristinely preserved, their original coloring and designs were still visible when they were pulled out of the ground. Archaeologists discovered the baker's dozen of mummies at Saqqara, an ancient site located roughly 20 miles south of Cairo, the modern-day capital. They expect to continue making discoveries at the site, which is also home to the Steppe Pyramid, which they believe is the world's oldest such structure of its type. This discovery happened just one week after Egypt opened its borders again, along with its archaeological sites and museums to visitors. In a Twitter post, Khaled El Inani, Egypt's Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, said it was an indescribable feeling when you witness a new archaeological discovery. Very little is known about the recently unearthed burial so far, leaving us with no choice but to await further details. Number 4. Ancient Fort in March of this year, before everything was closed down, archaeologists began excavating Arthur's Seat, an extinct volcano overlooking modern-day Edinburgh, Scotland. They discovered a fort built by the Votadini, an Iron Age Celtic tribe that once lived in southeast Scotland and northeast England. The ruins date back some 3,000 years. A nearby burial site called Traprain Law once served as the Votadini's capital. Evidence suggests that they were ultimately Romanized and integrated into early Scottish culture. Archaeologists are still conducting excavations on the site atop Arthur's Seat, which still bears evidence of walls despite being heavily eroded. The 820-foot-high summit also contains evidence of buildings discovered during previous digs, including thick stone walls. Researchers believe that the Votadini used part of the mountaintop land, which is now empty and stands in stark contrast to how it looked in the past, for farming and trading. Number 3. Female Skeleton Circle Several years ago in Germany's Saxony-Anhalt region near Brücken Hackfufel, someone unearthed what archaeologists would later call Germany's most important archaeological find in decades, an ancient 1500-year-old tomb belonging to a Germanic lord. 
It was surrounded by six female skeletons arranged in a circle, suggesting that the women were either human sacrifices or voluntarily gave their lives in some sort of cultish ritual that called for them to accompany the Lord into the afterlife. They may have been widows or concubines. Oddly, the man's remains have yet to be unearthed, leading experts to believe that his ashes may be located in a cauldron within the central tomb, which serves as the centerpiece that the female bodies encircle. The location of the discovery, which was made while clearing land for a new chicken farm, is being kept a secret to avoid grave robbers from looting the site. Besides the burial of the Germanic lord, the property appears to serve as a royal cemetery of sorts, with seemingly important individuals laid to rest within it. Number 2. Prophecies Missing from the Bible In a recent airing of the Discovery Channel series Dead Sea Scrolls – The Doomsday Prophecy, experts revealed the discovery of scroll fragments in the Qumran caves in the Judean desert, where the rest of the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. Thanks to advancing technology, they are now finally getting to the bottom of the mysteries revolving around the cryptic artifacts, which date back to the first century. Known as the War Scroll, its contents are not featured in the Bible, and the fragments, which were found scattered throughout one of the caves, known as Cave 11, appear to be a handbook for military strategy and operations that contain an otherwise unmentioned prophecy. It's one of numerous ancient texts that did not make their way into the Bible, and it predicts what researchers referred to as a violent cataclysm between two groups called the Sons of Light and the Sons of Darkness. This could have been the Siege of Masada, one of the first Jewish-Roman Wars' last events, which took place on a hilltop in modern-day Israel between 73 and 74 AD. The Sicarii were a group of Jewish rebels who adamantly opposed the Roman occupation of Judea, and experts believe that the newly discovered scroll fragments may provide insight into why they refused to leave Masada, despite being vastly outnumbered by the Romans. The battle is described in just a portion of the more than 1,000 scrolls that have been found in the Qumran caves, leaving researchers eager to learn what else we don't yet know about prophecies and other events that the text may describe, but that may not be detailed in scripture. Number 1. Violent Burial Mounds The archaeological record of steppe nomads is largely lacking for the most part. One of few exceptions can be found in southern Siberia's Republic of Tuva, which contains detailed evidence of the day-to-day -day lives and customs of humans who occupied the area as far back as the Paleolithic era. Of particular interest are the Scythians, a Bronze Iron Age and Late Antiquity group who left behind funerary structures filled with signs of exceptional ritualistic violence and possibly warfare, which occurred between the 2nd and 4th centuries. An international team of researchers led by experts from the University of Bern and the Russian Academy of Sciences explores burial mounds considered some of the earliest royal tombs of the Scythians. Tunug I, one of the earliest known Scythian royal tombs slash burial mounds, was excavated starting in 2017. The digs led archaeologists to a nearby cemetery containing the remains of 87 people, around a quarter of whom appeared to have met a particularly brutal demise. Some skeletons show evidence of hand-to-hand -hand combat, while others contain traces of unspeakable forms of slaughter, including decapitation, throat slitting, and scalping. Most of the victims were men, but women and children were also counted among the victims. Regarding the horrifying nature of the findings, lead study author Marco Mileja said this suggests that violence was not only related to raids and battles, but probably also due to specific, still mysterious, rituals involving the killing of humans and the collection of war trophies. He went on to mention a period of political instability that the region underwent during the early centuries AD. Mileja further speculated that these changes affected people's lives and deaths in certain ways, much like political strife still heavily impacts the daily goings-on in many parts of the world. Scientists continue to examine bones from the site bearing signs of trauma in an attempt to learn more about the deceased, including their movement, diet, and genetic ancestry. Whether or not they will definitively determine the specifics behind the gory rituals that seem to have occurred here remains unknown. Thanks for watching! Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to hear about more archaeological discoveries. See you next time! Bye!